Hey guys, welcome once more. Today I'm with my good friend Elijah Parisa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, hey man, what's up? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hello guys, and uh, yeah, welcome to. I welcome all of you to Codbus <laughs> Brandy Bell Technical University. From Codbus. wherever you are, yeah, we're welcoming all you over to Codbus, the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long have you been living here? <laughs> so um, uh, two two years now. Two years now. Yeah. I yeah. came I came 2019 October 21st. That was when okay. I arrived here in Cardboard. So it's been a two years some months now. Okay. Yeah, a few months. Yeah. And what are you studying? Um, I'm studying environmental resource management. It's a master's. Um, comprises of three. It's, it's inter interdisciplinary. Okay. And, uh, comprises three basic kind of um areas. So we have the environmental engineering part, the environmental science, and environmental management. Okay. Though it's been uh before it was like opened okay uh when i came you could choose courses from different parts depending on what you want to specialize you could do in. that yourself you could select that yourself. yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. you could select uh modules that you want to you know fit into the career path you want that's nice yeah, yeah. um cool. so i myself i chose like courses from the environmental engineering part okay. i didn't i even went further to take courses from the power engineering department Okay. Nice. Because I like um You have this background already. Um yeah, and I'm 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 interested into I'm interested in the area of renewable energies. Okay. So I took courses that are related to that. Okay. Um yeah, from the power engineering department. Cool. Um cool. the majorly my courses were uh from the management part and also from the courses that are in the engin environmental engineering part of ERM as well. Okay. So the ERM as a course itself, it has Three domains where okay. one can specialize in environmental engineering, environmental management, environmental science. Okay. Uh, the environmental engineering, engineering management science. Yeah. Okay. So um, you could choose courses that are in line with what you want. Okay. Um, so me having an interest in the area of uh, environment sustainability and re renewable energies, mm -hmm. I took courses from from uh, departments that are. You know departments uh, like the power engineering department, which is a course on its own. Okay. But I I went to that department to take some courses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like renewable energy from solar, from renewable, uh, from biomass, from wind. Okay. Uh, I took courses like that, and there there is a course in ERM in environmental resource management that is also from that department, but it's mm -hmm. part of ERM. Mm -hmm. It's called renewable energy for power supply. So I took okay. that as well. Um, took some courses from the environmental management aspects and then science, just I think one or two, yeah. Okay. Um, because that's not where like I want to specialize science in. Focus. Yeah. And every student has this flexibility to decide where they want to take from. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, okay. it's so flexible. It's not like fixed. Um, though you have like uh, a minimum you can take from other departments. Okay. There are five. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, maximum instead. You have. Five maximum. That you, you can, can take depart, from Yeah, you can departments. depart five uh, okay. courses from other departments. Okay. Yeah. Tell me, um, how how long is the study? How how long is the duration? What's the duration of this study program? Okay. Officially, it's Officially two years. Officially, two years. Okay. But it's not like it's, it's not fixed that you, you have to finish, finish in two years. In two years. So What's the maximum length of time that you can take to study this program? Do you know that? Um, maximum. I, I think it's eight years. Eight years, eight yeah. Years. You can depart. Yeah, you can depart eight years <laughs> in the master's program. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> you know, you eight, you, eight years. Yeah, you you chase it out. Like, what I do it? Like, what what I do it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think what I'm getting from this study program is there are three main aspects: the engineering aspect, mm -hmm. the science aspect, and then the management aspect. Yes. Um. So your what? Which one is your main focus? Is it the engineering, science, or management aspect? Okay, my major focus is the management and engineering part. Management and engineering part. Yeah. Tell me about the management part. What does that entail? So in the management part, um, you, you have courses like um, ma measuring sustainability, which deals with trying to um, um, you know, combine, I would say, organizational aspects okay. to the environment, how organizations 
respond to environmental as uh, environmental situations. Mm, is right? this like in the direction of activism and stuff like that? You um, know, like all these people who say, "Hey, protect the environment." You know, plant trees, don't cut down the trees, stop eating animals. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, be a vegetarian. Is it going to that direction? Mm, no, really, <laughs> not really, no, no, no. <laughs> but like, what what the environmental management aspect talks about more is. Um, things like the the Kyoto Protocol, the UN United uh, Nations Environment Program, okay. Um, things like um, emissions, okay. How emissions, yeah, uh, CO two emissions, CO two emissions. How that can be, you know, incorporated into uh, organizations responding, you know, positively, okay. or rather reducing their emission, environmental impacts, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, also, uh, it is also with standards. Like environmental standards. Okay. Yeah. So we have like ISO standards, ISO um, 9001 that deals with um, the quality standards mm -hmm. uh, for let's even say, let's even say uh, for the production of you know food in the industry yeah, so and the manufacturing, uh, manufacturing and um, the value chain from source to mm -hmm. uh, the from the raw consumer. material to so yeah to the final consumer right okay. and you also have the ISO for, uh, 14001 right that deals with the environmental management F focus on the environmental management okay aspect. so this, um, this sounds yeah. more like there are different career opportunities for this course right exactly it's, yeah. it's vast yeah okay. you, you can could you okay. name like the major career opportunities for someone who studies this program <laughs> environmental resource management okay um just as i said Earlier, right it depends on where you actually want to focus of course on, like for me personally um, that, that is interested in the sustainability and uh, renewable energy uh, aspect okay so you have that as uh, an area you can specialize in okay so those are career that's the career path give me a practical example I started this program mm -hmm. and then I took interest in that area yeah where can I work what would I be doing okay um if if you're studying ERM, first you can you can be an environmental engineer in the company. What would be my role in that company? So your your role will be basically coming up with models. I'll say models on how to improve um, the the management of the environment. Maybe waste Model. management, for example. Exactly, waste, waste management, management, recycling. Recycling. Yeah. Okay. And uh, sewage also as well. Definitely. Sewage management. Yeah. Um. So technical stuff. Okay. Like. Technical mm -hmm. stuff in the in the industry process okay. process uh, engineering process engineering yeah, yeah those sure. that deal with production of food and mm -hmm. yeah so you can you can you know people can specialize in that as well okay yeah okay. as well as if you want to go into the academia as well it, there's also that part for you because you go into the research research area and then you as, teach well, as well teach. do you know some major companies like in Germany for example which mm -hmm. companies maybe you you know some companies that they're focused in this area so someone who studies this program mm -hmm. can work in the company like that do you know some uh yeah there's um there are like, i would say companies like um bsf um, bsf bsf yeah there's also bsr BS in berlin for example um they take care of the waste management mm -hmm. you know uh, i don't know if they are like a company company or they are just a waste management company but yeah, I, I now you mentioned it came up, it just came to my head. Yeah, so they have different like there's one also in Berlin that deals with waste management. Yeah, it, it's called Black Forest. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, a lot. There are vast majority of companies that are into this. In Ger I'm talking about Germany precisely. Germany, yeah. In Germany mm -hmm. precisely. So. Yeah. Even in Germany, there are lots. I mean, I can't even mention all of them, yeah, right? Well, which are the major ones? <laughs> Just give me. Uh, names. for me, the ones I know now. Um, so I, there's this uh, one called IMOG, IMOG rating. IMOG the, rating. There's yeah, it's in Munich. Okay. So they deal with um rating, sustainability rating for companies, corporates, and so on. Hmm. Um. Okay. Mm. We have uh companies like Ecovadis. We have companies like Quantis. We have um. There are also companies, companies like that may measure the CO, CO2, CO2 emission. emission. Yeah, yeah. ESG. I've seen a couple of them. ESG, that's yeah. right. Yeah. ESG. Yeah. So there is planetary. Um, there is also Plan A. Okay. Yeah. So these are companies that are into the the mm -hmm. sustainability, measuring the environmental impact of companies. Yeah. Giving them reporting. Uh, they are reporting in terms of emissions, in terms of how. Okay. 
they are doing with their corporate mm -hmm. um, corporate responsibilities, right? Okay. As a company. Okay. So the vast majority of them, a lot. Yeah. And how easy is it to study this program and then work, as uh, you know, on the side? Is it, um, is it, it's so intensive that you cannot work along, or you can actually manage the study program and the student job? Of course you can't. Like it's yeah. flexible, right? It's flexible. It's flexible. Um, looking at the fact that it's not mandatory for you to finish within the two years, mm -hmm. right? You can take some, you know, semester and say, okay, I want to focus on taking internships or working yeah. um, full time and so okay. on. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's flexible, quite flexible. I, as a person, I combine it with um, internships. I've taken like up to since I came, I've taken like five, five. Really? <laughs> five internships. I think I'm in my seat. Yeah, the seat one now. Five. Is that six. is that possible? Is that allowed? Because I mean, um, if I imagine other study programs, yeah. there's always the time for internship. So you take the internship in this semester. Mm. You can't take it earlier, but you could take it later. And it's usually one internship or mm. two. You know, but I mean, this depends on the study program. So for yeah. you, for me, you can take as many internships as you want. Yeah. So there's not like a fixed semester for you to take internships. Okay. It's, it's not even mandatory for you. It's, it's like voluntary. Though it's recommended mm -hmm. for you to take internships as okay. as a student to get practical yeah, experience it's before going. Yeah, course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, courses like the power engineering, they have mm -hmm. a semester where it's mandatory for you to take an yeah. industrial internship, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But for ERM, is you can do it voluntarily and they recommend it. I remember a time where I had to ask for a recommendation later okay. because the company was asking for yeah.